Okay, hi everybody. Robert here again, and um, in this uh, exercise, we're going to look at uh, linking uh, linking elements into a model. This is one of my favorite things to do in uh, Navis work. So, first of all, let's go to one of our viewpoints that we saved earlier. Let's go to this one. Okay, now. Uh, you notice these boxes, these are just, uh, these boxes are just uh, things that are related to our save viewpoints. That's all. So, the first thing we want to do, we want to zoom in here, and we want to use our link. Uh, so, you know, links are good for manufacturing information. Uh, data, you can do videos, a uh, whole host of things. <clears throat> like I said, it's one of my favorite things to do. So let's zoom in to an item or an element. I have my cable tray in my model. You probably have some other thing. <clears throat> but I just want to show you uh, what you could do at Links and Navis Works. Uh, you could do comments or whatever, basically. So let's create a link for this uh, cable tray. So I want to zoom in here um, very close. And so what I want to do is I want to go and I want to select that cable tray. So I have the cable tray. So what we do is we want to add a link to this cable tray. So we, after we select the cable tray, we do a right click and we'll say add link. Now the add link dialog box will appear and here we will call this cable tray. Now links can be attached to URLs, videos, notes or anything. So for right now I'm just going to use this as a link for a file that I have or where we're going to place our, um, our, 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 our cut sheet. So here, file types, we want to change this to documents, DLC files. So um, I created this PDF file for this assignment especially. And we'll use this for our cut sheets for all of our models that we use in Navisworks. So we'll select on the cut sheet. We'll select open. Yeah, this is a PDF that I created from that cut sheet of that cable tray. And so I want to say open. And it's in hyperlink. Now we have other options available here. We have labels. We'll deal with labels a bit later. We'll leave it at hyperlink. And then we'll click OK. Now, what happens is you'll see this sheet of paper, and it's indicated that's the cable tray that I created. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, it says cable tray. Now, as we can open it, we'll wait in just a moment. I'm going to show you another way how we can uh, put this information on here. Okay. So basically, if I wanted to pick the railing, <clears throat> I'll select the railing and I'll do um, right click and I'll add a link. But for right now, we're going to just stick with what we did with our uh, cable tray. So basically, that's all it is. You go into your model in Navisworks, and you select it, and you'll go and create your link to the location of your document. So I'm going to just select this guy here and open it. And there's the PDF file that I associated with that uh, element in Navisworks. So that brings open the PDF file 
and it has all the information about that piece of cable tray. This could be linked to an external website or a video or manufacturer's information. It could be anything you want. So uh, that's a brief explanation of how Lynx works and Navis works. And uh, so links are good for associating information with model objects. It could be a description or like I, I just used the PDF or video or anything. And it can be linked to websites as well. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. And um, any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye.